AEW All Out 2023 results, y'all. This was a very, very good show. And I will get to a, a moment that I just simply did not expect. Promotional debut by one former WB star, and that was in the middle of the show, so stick around for that. But anyways, uh, let's quickly get through some of the pre-show. Hangman Page won the over over-budget charity battle royale after outlasting Brian Cage. Willow Nightingale, Shaida, and Sky Blue went over Athena, Mar- Mercedes Martinez, and DeMonte. Trio's champions, the acclaimed, and Daddy Ass with Dennis Rodman in their corner went over Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, and Satnam Singh. Dennis Rodman actually got involved in here and hits Singh with a guitar. Opener for the main card, ROH Tag Team Champions Adam Cole and MJF. They defeated Alex Reynolds and John Silver of the Dark Order. Throughout the match, MJF sold his match and even went to the back and, you know, ran down to the ring while Adam Cole was getting double teamed. They went out and retained. Now, post-match, they had a throwback moment to when MJF was working as an extra as a security guard in WB when Samoa Joe like, pushed him out of the way in a backstage segment. He did that when he was coming out for his match on the stage, and they got to a backstage or a, a, a brawl in the ring. So that looks to be the next... Next feud for those two. ROH TV champion, of course, Samoa Joe defeated Shane Taylor with a rear naked choke, a nothing match. AEW TNT champion Luchasaurus went over Darby Allen when Luchasaurus hit a tombstone twice and then a clothesline from the back for the win. Uh, Nick Wayne also got involved in this match. Now, here comes the tease. Here comes the surprise. Miro defeated Powerhouse Hobbs with the Camel Clutch. This was an awesome match and a great crowd who kept sla- you know, calling for slapping meat chants. It was fantastic. Now, post-match, Hobbs actually beat down Miro, leading to Miro's real-life wife, CJ Perry, a.k.a. Lana, making her promotional debut by aiding out Miro. And once they cleared the ring, Miro looked confused and wasn't happy about it as if he didn't know. AEW TBS champion Chris Statlander went over Ruby Soho when Soraya distracted the referee and Tony Storm took away the spray paint from Ruby Soho, allowing Statlander to hit her finish for the win. So Tony Storm, she turned on her outcast, you know, fellow member in, in this. One of the best matches of the night, Brian Danielson beat Ricky Starks in a strap match. Big Bill actually got involved in this match by attacking Brian Danielson, leading to Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, who was on commentary for the match, making the save and brawling with Big Bill. Starks actually took, or sorry, um, Steamboat actually took out Starks at one point. Uh, Brian Danielson took out Bill and Starks with an outside dive. Danielson actually locked in the LaBelle lock while using the strap and Starts passed out, leading to Brian Danielson winning. Eddie Kingston and Shibata lost to Claudio Castanoli and Wheeler Yuta in a nothing, nothing match. Another great match on the show was Kenny Omega, who lost to Takeshita. Don Callis kept getting involved in this match. At one point, he tried to stab Omega in the head with a screwdriver, which I hated that spot, but Omega moved. I don't think knives, guns, screwdrivers, anything that could kill someone should be involved in pro wrestling. That's just me. It just automatically takes me out of the moment. Uh, Takeksha did a wheelbarrow throw, then a running knee strike before hitting another knee strike for the win. Co-main event time, FTR and the Young Bucks, they lost to the Bullet Club Gold when the guns hit their finishers on Wheeler. This was a fun match. FTR, the Young Bucks have such good chemistry. Uh, both as opponents and tag team partners. This was a lot of fun. They did a lot of fun spots. There was a lot of crazy dives by the Young Bucks. Uh, the guns sold well in this match. Bullet Club Gold, Jay White is so damn good. And then the main event, John Monsley won the Intercontinent, excuse me, John Monsley won the international title from Orange Cassidy with two death drivers. Early on in this one, Orange Cassidy got busted open. There was various just submission holds. I mean, this was a classic build-em-up, main event-style match. 
Moxley made Orange Cassidy in this match, despite the fact that Cassidy lost. Moxley let him have the ring afterwards, and, and Orange got a standing ovation. A really, really good match. And I forget who pointed this out on Twitter, but this was the third time that John Moxley bailed out AEW because of CM Punk. He stepped up as the interim world heavyweight champion. He stepped up as the world champion. And in a pay-per-view that CM Punk was originally supposed to headline in a strap match with 